Hey humans and androids everywhere, Harry Thomas here and welcome to part 6 of my Detroit Become Human playthrough uh, where we left off, uh, we've successfully got Car and Alice into a temporarily cosy and safe home in the motel uh, even though we had to make some controversial law-breaking decisions uh, to do so uh, which Alice didn't necessarily agree with and, and at least we brought Marcus uh, back from the dead <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, Today, I think Chloe's going to give us a Android survey, so that should be fun. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Yes, please. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Of course. Androids and humans are equal. Doesn't matter. Technology could become a threat to mankind? Hell no. Uh, no, no you, you androids can be trusted. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Let's see, a book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, instrument, or oh, pen and paper to draw. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Hmm, yes, kind of, because I wouldn't be doing this play for if I wasn't. What technology do you most anticipate? Androids, for sure. They're inevitable. Do you believe in God? Yes. Would you let an android take care of your children? Happily. Y y yeah, they, they do a great job. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Oh, I'd say around, uh, uh, four hours. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? I would trust androids with my life. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? 100%. Oh. I'm satisfied with all my answers. Thank you, Chloe. Ah, oh, back to Connor. Find Amanda. God, this place is a paradise. It's like Connor's stepped into android heaven. You know what? Uh, this, uh, 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 you know what? I, I would love to live here. Oh, there she is. I'm guessing Amanda is uh, Connor's, uh, well, well, she uh, is like uh, his conscience. Like Jiminy Cricket. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. She's gorgeous. Love her the outfit. seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Oh, um, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Agreed. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Oh, uh, uh, indifferent. I 
will focus on the investigation and try to ignore it. Oh, she liked that. As long that. as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. We can't get Amanda and Connor's relationship too low, because if he fails her too many times, she can deactivate him. So for now, we've got to, you know, just focus on figuring out why androids are becoming deviant to please her. Oh, hey, Shannon. Oh, she's hot. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait on his desk. Oh, androids can even talk with their minds, just like the wizards in the wizarding world. Ah, oh, this is the Detroit police force where Hank works. Nice. Oh, let's ask her. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, oh, here's his desk. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Well, while he's not here, we might as well learn everything we can about him if we're going to be working with him the entire game. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Hank likes rock music. Oh, so do I. He, he was listening to Running Up the Hill from Stranger Things. <laughs> oh. Oh, he was a baseball captain. Oh, and an an anti-android. Oh, so he despises androids. Oh, shit. That's gonna put a spanner in the works of our friendship. And likes donuts, just like Homer Simpson. Jeez, Connor, please water his plants, it looks dead. <laughs> oh, and we can't drink his coffee because androids can't drink coffee. Oh, that's a bummer. Hairs. Oh, he has a dog. Ah. I hope we get to meet his Saint Bernard's. Oh, wow, he looks way younger back then. Oh. Back when Hank was at the top of his game, in his prime, on the force. Oh shit, we already discovered that. Oh, uh, 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 matches from the ones at Jimmy's bar. Oh, hey, Hank. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank, in my office. Oh, let's listen to what's going on. This may involve us, too. Cases involving androids on my desk every day. If 
we've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things? Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you excuse me, I've got work to do. Fuck, that got heated. I can see Hank uh, sure has a great relationship uh, with his boss. I think I'll just leave. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I do not want to get on the wrong side of that Captain. He's a real dick. Doesn't look like he's android friendly either. Alright, Hank, let's build a bond. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. No shit. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Oh, partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, fuck, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh, now use Hawk. <laughs> Alright, we've got a case to do. Might as well get started. <laughs> Hopefully Hank can change his mind about androids later on. Oh, let's ask about his dog. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Just trying to make conversation. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Yes! We're getting somewhere. Sorry for snooping around your desk, Hank. Oh. Anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? One. Oh, oh darn it, shouldn't have brought that up. Oh, music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Oh, that what? Start working. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Back yourself out. Access. Oh, missing. Are oh, these are androids that have turned deviant and uh, rebelled against their human masters. Maybe we'll get to meet some of these on our investigation, but hopefully will set them free instead of kill them. Oh! A an android from the Eden Club uh, strangled a guy and fled. Oh! Uh, uh, 
keep keep this android in mind because she may be pretty significant to the story later on. Kara! Oh shit, Kara's wanted for murdering Toz. Oh no, do we... Do we have to... Do we really have to hunt Kara? Can't we just let her go free? She didn't murder him, it was self-defense. If anybody committed any crime, it was Toz. Oh, uh, understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Oh, Hank, stop being an arsehole. We're, we're doing our best to befriend you. Oh, determine. I've been assigned this mission. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Uh-oh. Listen, asshole. It was up to me. I threw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. I think are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Raven District. I'm on it. Yeah, it doesn't matter uh, what Connor says to Hank here, he gives the exact same uh, pissed off reaction. <laughs> Waiting for Hank. Yeah, you kind of get uh, the exact same ending where uh, yeah, Connor and Hank get the lead to Kara's location. So that's where they'll be heading next. So, uh, spoiler alert, the next level will be the first Kara and Connor collab, but... Oh, there are a few things we, we missed. You can actually uh, make uh, coffee for Gavin or go and visit Carlos's android, but I think uh, listening in to uh, Connor and Hank's uh, assignment is more important, so I think we did all right. Ah, back to Kara in the, in the cosy motel. Hope they had a good sleep. Ah, oh, yes, we got Alice's relationship up to family. That's the best we can go. Yeah, don't wake her, Kara. As beautiful as this mode's hell is, we can't stay here forever. You guys need a permanent home. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Oh, let's run her a bath. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Ah. Uh, I'll bring you back. I, I thought she would love that. But we'd better hurry. It will have to be a brief bath because Connor and Hank are on your asses. Ah. Uh, sp special treat for Alice. Oh. Looking gorgeous, Kara, I must say. Ah, oh, yes, it's probably time for her to blend in with the humans to remove her, you know, LED like Marcus did. Oh, and she's giving herself a haircut, too. Oh, she doesn't need a barber. She, she could be the world's greatest android, Barbara. I'd certainly love my hair, a haircut from her. Ah, oh, blonde. Meh, she still looks prettier in brown. Let's just stay brunette. 
finish. Most people make her hair white. I don't get it. I always uh, uh, stick with brunette. Ah, oh, yes. She can pass as a human now. It will make things ten times easier. Oh yeah, her bath should be ready. Oh, thanks, Alice. You really look like a human. Now let's watch some TV while she has her bath. Oh, looks like a decent anime. Cyber wildlife. Oh, they have deviant lions. Ah, oh, that shit is so cool. Oh, and don't forget that gun on the table, because you may need that later on. It's done miracles for you thus far, it won't fail you now. Oh, there's the remote. Are they filming Avatar The Way of Water? I hate this channel. <laughs> nah. Kara's not like Patrick, she, she likes channels, she just is curious uh, to check them all out. Change. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Court Town. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene and a police oh, search fuck. is in progress. Reporting live They're now the most wanted androids uh, for murdering Oz. Choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. Thank you, Alice. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. And the public opinion of androids has gone down, but at least we have each other. All oh, that android from last night. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Oh, bless her. Let's give her a huge hug. Comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Aww. Never take Kara for granted, Alice. You are blessed to have a amazing mother like her. Hopefully, Alice's human mother, Todd's human wife, is just as caring. Oh, bollocks, they're here. We need to get out of here. turn Kara in. What has she ever done to you? Oh, Connor and Hang is still on bad terms. Diplomatic. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. Want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. 
Jeez, what'll it take, Hank, to, to make Hank android friendly? Oh, shit. Connor, please let Kara and Alice go. Don't chase after them. All they want is to get away from us all and be free and happy together. They've done nothing wrong. They don't deserve to go to jail. No, no, please don't still be inside. Please, no. It's gone. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, Connor, you're too late. All right, get to the train station before the cops see us. Hi. Phew. Okay, if only we had an invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. So far, so good. Hip towing through the streets. Oh, hi. Alice, don't move a muscle. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're halfway there. Oh, an umbrella. They'll never find us under that. Open. How to evade the cops. Enter stealth mode, Mary Poppins style. If only they could just run to the station. Why are they just walking? Hi! Yes! Yes! They made it! They're not going to jail today and are one step closer to their new home! being on on the run 24 7 and still being homeless on the run damn there are multiple ways this uh, level could have gone like had we pit the abandoned house or or the abandoned car just look at the different endings we could have gotten that we didn't get. But, uh, thank goodness we picked the motel because Car and Alice got the easy route uh, out of there. I mean, if if we picked uh, the abandoned house, then we would have met this other messed up android named Ralph and Connor would have chased Car and Alice onto the road. But even sneaking past the cops just made my heart go in my mouth. It was... It was that nerve-wracking, but but we got them to safety, so, so 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 that was a flawless playthrough. So yeah, even though we got Connor and Hank's relationship off to a rocky star, so at least Amanda's impressed with us, and at least Cara and Alice's relationship is still uh, blossoming as mother and daughter, and hopefully Marcus will have a character to develop a strong bond with uh, uh, in in the future. Uh, well. Uh, I love you guys, thank you for watching, uh, and uh, I'll see you all next time in part 7. I'll see you then.